Hi YouTube, it's Beck here from So Be Curated. I'm at the shop. It is Tuesday. We've just closed the shop actually. Lucy's out the back doing mail. Um, I just had to warn her that I was going to chat to myself um, and she thought that I was just going to go, oh, now I'm going to put this in the box and then that in the box. So I'm not quite that insane, a little bit insane. I am making some bundles at the moment. This is the last one to make. Little kit like that. So it's got some pretty linen in it, some wool felt in a couple of colors, um, some yo-yo, some French laundry tags, that kind of thing. And it's gonna come in a little box. So if you're interested, I'll show you in two secs when this one's put together. And then I thought I would also talk to you about the quilt that's behind me. So yesterday, who even am I? Am I going to do you two YouTubes in two days? That's crazy. Um, yesterday, I went through my winter whips and I didn't mention this quilt at all. And it's not really, to be fair, it's not really done very much. I've stuck it up on the wall. I've added a few bits. I've moved a few bits around. Um, and I actually have a couple more bits I want to add to it. That little, I've got a little doily that says, are you awake? And I want to put that one on it. But besides that, not much has happened because I need to get it off the wall before we move. And I'm just going to tack that, like do a basting, but like a thread basting. Normally I pin based. So that is also one of my whips. Sorry, I've got things everywhere. But I recently picked up this amazing vintage cotton. So it is just stunning. Why they can't make this again, I have no idea. And actually this video is not doing it justice. It's under artificial light and all those kind of things. Um, so this is going to be my backing for this quilt and it's just perfect. Now it's really rare to find, I think this is three meters. It's really rare to find that much fabric all together. Now the only problem is because it's vintage, it's a narrower width of fabric. So it doesn't quite fit the whole kind of width of my quilt. So I'm gonna have to put either something down the middle or on a side to kind of extend it out. And I haven't quite decided what that is, but I'm really, I think this is gonna be lovely. And so that has to kind of become a priority priority in my winter making because it's got to come off the wall for us to move. And then the little kits I'm making up. So these would be really lovely for a crafty friend or for yourself. Uh, so each one is slightly different, different yo-yos, etc. But that same lovely linen base fabric, some wool felts, some French laundry tags, two threads in the colors that I used, a little bit of embroidery or applique piece, a lovely piece of linen. This one has a lovely trim on it. It's a bit hard to show. It's probably really bad video, sorry about that. So we've got a number of those kits. And then I've also, this morning, let me just, so, we have these, if you've bought from us, you'll know that we send out things in pink boxes. And I love the pink boxes, except the little one, because it doesn't stay closed unless you tuck it in. Whereas the others just can sit closed and that is a little bit frustrating. So the other thing I have made today, well, Lucy and I actually, because Lucy cut the linen the other day and I've been cutting for a while on Saturday, I was working on them, is a bundle for the Edie quilt. So this one comes with the beautiful kind of slaty gray linen that I used. Um, I'm just gonna turn it around because you're actually looking at the back of it. And then a piece of this lovely Dotty Lucello linen, an apron that I have found. So an apron with chicken scratch embroidery on it. And then a beautiful bundle of fabrics, including some from Mum and Son and some original feed sacks. There's four 
no, three, four original feed sacks in there. So just a note that when you're buying vintage, like one of those feed sacks is quite marked, I would still absolutely use it. But if you're somebody that doesn't like kind of patina from age, don't be looking for vintage fabrics maybe. Um, sometimes it's not the right thing if you like it to be really perfect. Anyway, so this bundle, I think it's beautiful. Each one is individual because it has a different apron. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take you around and show you a little bit of the shop today. Um, and I'll show you the Edie quilt. That's what I'm thinking of. I've lost my brain. Okay, so this is the Edie quilt that it's the second one I made. I made it as part of a so long idea in a Facebook group, and I'm terrible at those things. I know lots of people would love them, but I just have such limited time at the moment that please don't ask me to do one. And this is my second Edie as well, so probably I don't need to make another Edie. Um, the bundle is made up to make something like this. So mine has lots of feed sack in it. Like this one here is a feed sack, but I also had an apron that mine had rickrack that was stitched on that I really liked. And I've cut up some doilies and things like that. I think that was the edge of a doily. Lots of new fabrics in there as well. I particularly love this Figo brown dot. And so sometimes I alternate my, the check linen with this kind of blue spot linen. So I've included that in the bundles as well for you to make one if you're interested in making one. And then the shop is actually a little bit disorganized. Lucy had a busy day packing packages. I have had Tuesday stitches in and then I've been making up, like putting together those bundles. But so we've got lots of fabric that needs to find new places and kind of the shelves need to be straightened up. It's the warm colors over here and the gingham looks a bit skew -if. Um Over to the front of the shop, there's some Christmas fabrics there. Little Heather Ross section, which is getting lighter and lighter because they kept selling, which is great. And solids, spots, darks, a little bit of petite pan, and then the cooler colors over there. Now, you, if you've watched my YouTubes, you will have seen how much preparation I did for the Sydney Quilt Show. Unfortunately, I have not done quite so much prep for the Maitland Quilt Show, which is on this week. And we're heading up, or I'm heading up. So we'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Don't worry, the shop's got its normal shop hours. Lucy will be looking after it and M. So I've just restocked all that wool felt, actually. All the felted wool, Sue Spargo. Anyway, so this is kind of what it's looking like at the moment. We've been working to try and fill up the lollies. We sold so many of them and they're always popular in the shop um, to kind of get them back up to kind of the amounts we need. But we're still a bit light on the pinks, greens and blues and stuff. We've done okay. So there's warmer colours and cooler colours. Otto actually came up with that system for us and we like it a lot. And, you know, just some lovely things. That's the little green sewing box that I brought in from home because I can't keep it because I've got too many. Maybe I should keep it for the new shop. I don't know. And here's the geranium that everybody loves and hasn't. It's flowered the entire time I've had this shop. Now it is, it needs to be repotted or re kind of topped up and I haven't got to it. And I wonder if when we move it to the new shop, it will suffer from that move. Anyway, this is where we're at. Lucy's doing parcels out the back. They're the ones I've just done, the kits I've just done here. And there's some orders that, I mean, sorry, some product that I'm still loading and kind of pricing. 
So that's kind of our Tuesday in the shop. I did think that you might like to see kind of the products that we're working on, what the shop is looking like at the moment, and also ah, what I'm planning on doing with that quilt that's on the back wall because I have to make some progress on it. I've got a month to kind of sort that and work out what I'm doing. So happy stitching, everybody. Thanks for being here. Stop the tape gun for a sec. Lucy just told me. What did you tell me, Lucy? I said that... Beck is much more organised for the Maitland quilt show than she thinks she is. She's got loads of bundles and a million and one ideas and that she was downplaying all of the work that she's already put into this. And because we do actually care about the Maitland, sorry, I have to come out a mouthful of my salad. Um, we do actually care very much that the Maitland quilters get a good look at the kind of products that we can offer. Yep. Happy stitching. Happy quilt show.